to the Spirit of Rowlett Virtual Edition. I'm Council Member Brownie Sherrill. Today's Spirit of Rowlett Award goes to a couple, Bernadette and Jason Hagmeyer. Welcome, guys. Let's begin with how long have you two lived in Rowlett? Well, I've only been here 25 years. Uh, I moved here well, probably, I guess it was my ninth grade year in high school. So I've been here throughout the entire high school years and then the last 16 years of raising my family. So about 25 years in Rowlett. And I'm going on about 30 years. I came pretty quick. I think second grade is about the time that we, we came to Rowlett where there was absolutely nothing here but a couple of houses and a Mr. M's. I can tell you, I remember as a kid riding down uh, 66 highway as a two lane road from Dow Rock to Rowlett Road. So that's, that's, that gives you any kind of scope of how long we've been here. Bernadette says she's been here 30 years. I didn't even know she was that old. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> okay, I understand you two are the driving force behind the Rowlett Soccer Association. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, I don't know if we can claim the entire driving force as, as a team. I mean, it's, it's, it's a board, as you guys know, and boards operate with a system of volunteers. So um, it's, it's team effort. And our, our, our main passion is just bringing soccer and, and anything that really enriches the lives of our Rowlett kids and, 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 and the youngins in Rowlett uh, gives them something to do on the weekends, gives them something to do and kind of get, builds that team environment. Um, it's always our kids brought us into it. And at that point going forward, it was just – all uphill from there. So once once we started getting engaged with our kids, now they've all moved on to bigger and better things, and we're still in it. We've, somehow we've still been a part of it. So last 10 years has been fun. You do what your passion is. <laughs> exactly. That's so right. Bernadette, I understand you're on the parks board. How many, year, how many years have you served there? Oh, wow. I think uh, th maybe three years. I think I'm hitting about three years, mm -hmm. give or take. I just show up and hang out and – you know, do it with, with the group, what we need to do for the city. And I totally lost count. So I think we're going on three years. You must enjoy it if you can't remember how long you've been there. <laughs> I do. I mean, it's just a bunch of great people. They're, you know, good to just hang out and sit and talk about parks and community and, you know, being able to, to provide a, a, a community with, with parks that people enjoy and, and an environment that we all enjoy. So talking about that amongst with that group is just easy. It's just easy to do. So I know that y'all were heavily involved on the rebuilding of Kids Kingdom. So tell me your favorite memory about that. Watching, watching, <laughs> it's kind of telling, but watching my son uh, work alongside other folks within the community as, as a teenager, uh, building something for the future generations. That, that was, to me, that was very, very a proud moment. Um, and watching him, you know, turn wrenches and, and use drills and, and kind of do that manly stuff. It was, it was very important. <laughs> and also to know that, when we came to this community, he was he was very little, so he played in the first Kids Kingdom. So oh, to cool. see him be a part of the second one um, was was a was a big moment for me. It's very cool, very cool. Well, I can tell that that volunteering has already impacted your family. Your son, do you think it makes a positive impact on their lives to see you involved? I think so. I, I think it does. It gives them a sense of community and responsibility and. It just it sets that good example that it's not just about you. It is about everyone that's around you and giving back to that community, especially for us having lived here for so long. We we're giving back to the place that sort of raised us. So it's just our part. Yeah, it started started several years ago with with my employer, but we've always been engaged in, in community enrichment and, and volunteerism. And um, Ethan's first experience, my son's first experience with with any major volunteer program was was going to the Dallas Children's Advocacy Center and kind of coaching kids in bas in, in, in soccer and basketball and, and baseball. And that was he came home that day very humbled. And so I think that that's that's going to be a life lesson for him. You know, volunteering, giving back to the community, and seeing seeing the 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 blessings that we have and some of the unfortunate nature that some of our, of our, you know, other families have to live through. That was, that was a pretty big moment. So, so just in general, what makes you so enthusiastic about our city? I would say the hometown feel, um, yeah. you know, like I said, we, we've been here for so long and many of our t our schoolmates, our former schoolmates are now our teachers of our kids and we could pretty much go anywhere in the community and, mm -hmm. and see somebody that we either grew up with or went to school with. And it just, it brings that sense of community more like a family. You feel more, you know, connected to everybody because you grew up with them or, you know, you grew up with their son or daughter. And so it's just, it's a great feel. Mm -hmm. 
Well, great. I tell you what, as, as a council and as a just a citizen of Rowlett, we really appreciate what you guys do. So I want to say congratulations to Bernadette and Jason Hagmeyer, and thank you for showing the spirit of Rowlett. I'm Council Member Brownie Sherrill. Let's keep the spirit of Rowlett alive. Thank you, sir. Thank you.